Nelson Mandela has said that the youth of today are the leaders of tomorrow. In fact, they are the architects of our future society. Their dreams are the blueprints of what the world is going to look in the future. And that is why their health, whether it's mental, physical, social, spiritual, is imperative. And they are facing a lot of mental health challenges in today's world. Now, these mental health challenges are being faced by people across all ages, genders and strata of society. But the challenges being faced by the youth are unique. And unfortunately, what we have observed is that there is a deterioration in mental health of youngsters these days. In fact, 20 to 25% of youth across the world are suffering from mental health issues and substance use disorders, which range from depression, generalized anxiety, social anxiety, PTSD, OCD, self-harm, ADHD symptoms, personality disorders, eating disorders and bipolar disorders. Now, what is happening to the youngsters these days which is leading to so many mental health issues? Of course, we have the usual suspects, genetics and family dynamics. Now, if there is a very close member in the family, particularly parents, first degree relatives who have mental health issues, the youngster becomes vulnerable to the development of mental health disorders in the future. But the changing family dynamics of the world today also play a very important role. We are moving from a joint family system to a nuclear family system, which while giving us a lot of freedom, also creates isolation and lack of social support. Parents, both of them are working to provide an excellent life for their child. But because of this, they are not able to give their child time, attention, and sometimes they overcompensate by accepting all their demands, whether they are reasonable or unreasonable. In fact, a lot of the times I tell parents that the best thing you can do for your child is to say a no, to set a boundary. Of course, there are economic challenges in the family in today's world. And there is also parental stress. There are divorces. There are single parent units. All of this, all this can impact the mental health of the child or the youth living in that house. Then, of course, we have academic pressures. Kids these days not only have to excel in academics, but they have to excel in a million different extracurricular activities so that it looks good on their college application. That can lead to a lot of pressure. Youth is also a time of experimentation. And as long as it stops at experimentation, it's okay. But this is when peer pressure comes into play. Peers are the biggest source of social support for the youth, but they can also be a bad influence. If they lead them into unhealthy habits, into unhealthy activities, it can just spiral down into mental health issues like substance use disorders and unhealthy impulsive behavior which can be very harmful for the youth of today. And then of course we have social media. Social media has never been a bigger part of our lives than it is now and youth, are, youth and youngsters are the people who are the maximum users of social media in today's world. While it provides us with a lot of information, it provides us with a platform to express ourselves, it provides us with a community where we feel supported, it can also, there's a flip side to it, because it can also be a source of misinformation. It can be a source for predators to prey on vulnerable youth. It can be a place for cyberbullying and it can also be a place of comparison. Most of us, we are not going to put up our failures on social media. We are only going to put up our achievements and wo bhi bada chada ke. <laughs> so when the youth see this, they may end up thinking that we don't look good enough. We don't, our lives are not good enough. We have not achieved enough. All of this can lead to depression. It can lead to anxiety and it can lead to an attempt to gain all of that by any means possible. Now, while social media is leading to a lot of connectivity, it is paradoxically leading to a lot of isolation because we end up just sitting on our laptops with our mobiles. We are not stepping out of the house and meeting our friends, meeting our family members and face-to-face -face interactions are absolutely essential. Also, the sedentary lifestyle is leading to physical health issues, which in turn is affecting the mental health. Now, youth of today are very open to the idea of seeking help for mental health issues. But they may be stopped or they, they, the obstacle in this may be stigma from their own families, from their own friends. Many of the time, in fact, we have youngsters coming to us saying that their family has said, Ki, you know what, what is depression? What is anxiety? Just snap out of it. And that leads to delay in help seeking behavior. 
And then, of course, there are economic challenges, jobs, career prospects. All of this can lead to anxiety. And finally, of course, there is, uh, like I said, the isolation can lead to uh, involvement in a lot of unhealthy habits. And then, all across the globe, there are a lot of things happening. There are health pandemics, there is political instability, climate change, wars. All of this can lead to a sense of helplessness and anxiety. The youth have to be resilient. They have to be happy and successful because that is what is going to lead to a healthy and flourishing society. So to all the youngsters out there, please understand that all the mental health challenges that you're facing are very real. They are very common, but they are also very treatable. Reach out. Reach out to your family, friends, to your mental health professionals. Take care of your body because a sound mind resides in a sound body. Have good stress management strategies. Build solid, healthy, secure relationships. Family and caregivers, provide a stable, secure, non-judgmental environment to your youngster so that they feel supported. Lead by example. Guide them into a healthy life. Educators. Please focus not just on their academic achievements, but on their overall growth. Provide them with support and resources which are necessary to overcome the mental health challenges that they are facing. And finally, employers of these youngsters. Again, provide a safe, secure, supportive environment where they can have a work-life balance, where they can have resources to help them whenever they are suffering from any issue. Because, like I said, the youth of today is the future of tomorrow. Thank you.